We got a testimonial in the hospital just the day after the surgery. And I understand, I remember you went home one night after the surgery, right? Correct. What were your symptoms before the surgery? Very bad. Tell me A lot me of about. pain on the left side of the leg for the sciatic nerve. Okay. Bothered me quite a bit for as far as walking, yeah. sleeping, sitting. I know, I know. How, the, how is the leg pain now? It's gone. So when did the leg pain go away? As soon as I sat up on the edge of the bed there. After yeah, the just I, right after the surgery and next day you went home. Here is what we did. We did a, actually a three-level fusion and you had a side bending. And here is the, where the spacers are and you see those osteophytes, those bone spurs. They are separated. This used to be on that. So that we increased that space here and that opened up the space where the nerves are passing through here. And because we are restoring your anatomy, that is why we could get the... the restore the anatomy and take the pressure off the nerve and that's why the leg pain is gone and this surgery with eight screws and three spacers here is my record of the surgery we did it in 72 minutes with 73 cc of blood loss and just one night hospital stay this would have been like easily if somewhere between five and eight hour surgery open old-fashioned way and you know that the recovery would have been much longer but we could do it because we didn't cause too much damage to get in and get the job done. And uh, as you're telling me that the, the, the leg pain was gone right after the surgery, is that correct? Right. Now, yeah, I'm sure, you know, the, especially um, realistically, bone doesn't heal in one month. You still have some symptoms. What symptoms do you still have left? And what, how, how bad is your pain and daily activity at this point? Well, the pain in the left leg is, is gone completely. Mm -hmm. and the experience of pain I'm having right now is just where the operation was. Surgical pain. Which and look at that. I put eight screws in and you will feel it for a while. Yeah. How is the daily activity? Excuse me? How is your daily activity? Think that you need to do like going around the kitchen, doing daily stuff, you're putting clothes on and taking them off. And it's, how is that? It's uh, sometimes good and sometimes a little tricky, but... yeah. You keep working at it, sometimes it's better. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, the, so considering that, you know, we are just more, one month after this very big surgery, I'm very happy with the result. And, you know, I'm looking at the films here again. If all the hardware is in the right position, we lift up those uh, collapsed discs. And as a matter of fact, you might be, comparing to just before the surgery, you're probably a good part of an inch or two taller because we lift you up your spine. And that is what opens up the space. That's why we call it anatomical decompression. And, you know, again, how old are you? 77. So you're not going to heal like somebody who's 20 or 30. No. But overall, I think uh, this would have been a pretty tricky, risky, dangerous surgery if we would have done it open old-fashioned way. And we did your surgery with the almost two ounces of blood loss, which is nothing. This, we lost like, you know, one-fourth of a soda can of blood, which is nothing for this kind of surgery. I'm just glad we didn't have to go through the front and the back. No, I didn't. You were told you have to go through the front and back, right? You're right. So what did they tell you how the surgery sh should be or could be done? Not I, not how we did it, but before me. What did they tell you how this surgery should be done? They said the first three days, they go through the front, and then I'm in the hospital for three days, then they come back in, well, I'm still in the hospital, and then they go through the back. Mm -hmm. And I'd be in there for like a week yeah. after that. So they, you were told that you have to open up your belly, push the guts to the side, go through the vessel, major vessels, and then do the front part, and then wait three days, and then come back another day, because that first surgery would have been too long already, and then come back and finish up the back part of the surgery, and then after that, stay still a few days in the hospital. We did all of that surgery, Literally, in seven, one hour and 12 minutes, with two ounces of blood loss, and we send you home next day. And this is what the difference is between the open old-fashioned surgery and the surgery that you got with us. So far, it's working great for me. Well, now, believe it or not, there are only 25 people in the United States doing this kind of surgery. Because it takes lots of training to do that. Like anything that's good, high level, it takes training and um, literally lots of effort to learn that and surgeons are sometimes busy and they don't have the time to take that time to time off to go and train more 
and lots of people in your situation, either they are told you need that kind of surgery you said, but some of them are not even that lucky. They are told, go live with the pain because the surgery is too dangerous for you. And they are condemned to live with this horrible pain. Could you live with that pain? No. Oh. Okay, and now I'm actually going to interview with that uh, Forbes magazine, a reporter from Forbes magazine tonight. And uh, I want to use actually this interview to tell what the difference is, what you have been told, what surgery you would have been, they told you you should get, and how we could do that for you. If you would talk to other people, you know, like you know, they want to cut you open from the front and back and do two-day surgery, one-week hospital stay, comparing to what you got, you know, what, what would your recommendation be? What would you say? Check around a little bit, I would say. I think that's important. So I had two physicians that said they had to go through the front and the back, and one physician from Mayo Clinic said that he didn't see any reason for any surgery at all. Yeah, well, the, the, I think the fact there is that the, your surgery would have been too big, too risky for them. I, I'm sure they knew that there's something to be done, but they didn't want to do a big surgery that's very dangerous for you. And that's the reason, because it wasn't the question that you have a problem. It wasn't. And there's that one little miracle when I seen you on television. Yeah. Well, and I said, I listened to your program there and I wrote your number down. Yeah. When you said you don't have to go through the front and the back. And I'm happy you did. Because now too. we can put you back on your life. It's going to still take some time. But now, and, uh, and I think you nailed it. The real message to people is go look up your options. Yep. Because, you know, you just either would have lived with the pain or you would have gone through very dangerous surgery for your age group, two days, with two years recovery time, with open old-fashioned surgery, whereas within a month we are able to put you back on your basic daily activity. That's a true difference. If you lose, you know, if you do a 72-minute surgery or if you do a two-day surgery, each of them four, five, six hours. Initially a 12-hour surgery, okay? Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Any other comment or no, uh, thank message? Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.